Hi and welcome to Andy's Tailgate Test Kitchen where I recreate the recipes you send to me. This week's recipe comes from Brian Clary and he's a Florida grad who lives in the Atlanta suburbs. I think this is a good recipe for this week, especially for him. Brian's Gators are playing Kentucky and there's a very good chance Kentucky could snap a long losing streak against Florida. So today we're going to make Brian's jambalaya recipe. It's easy to make, you put it in one pot, and then once the game starts, it'll be there for you, whether you need it to celebrate or to comfort you. All right, first we gotta get our chicken ready. Well, we're making jambalaya, so we'll go with the Justin Wilson pronunciation. We we'll gotta get our chicken ready. Got our handy freezer bag, and we're gonna mix everything up in here. So we'll put our, we'll put our chicken into there. We got our hot sauce, we got our hold that tiger. Hold that tiger. Hot sauce. That, by the way, is LSU D-line coach Ed Orgeron's outgoing voicemail message. And, and they make this hot sauce in Louisiana, so they don't put the little spout on it where it comes out slowly. You better be careful. We're going to do a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. Throw that in there. And then the juice of half a lemon. Let's give that a good squeeze. We'll seal our bag. And we shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. We're just gonna brown up the sausage here. and Bacon will bring a bass down runner, but the smell of sizzling andouille sausage gets them off the couch just about as fast. <laughs> okay, okay. And now we're gonna dump in our marinated chicken. We're gonna let that brown for a couple minutes on each side. Now you add your onions, and your celery, and your peppers, and you're gonna stir those around, let them get those good brown bits on them, and cook them until they get a little soft. Now we add our garlic, we wanna stir that in. When you start to smell that garlic, you're ready to move on to the next step. We're gonna add our chicken stock, our rice, a little more Creole seasoning, three bay leaves, and we're going to let that come to a boil. Seal the lid, and we're going to put it in a 300 degree oven for 40 minutes. Woo, that is heavy, that is a lot of goodness. While that's baking, we're going to get our shrimp ready to add to the pot. We don't have to do much with it, but we've got them peeled and deveined already, and make sure you devein your shrimp, because, ew. Now we're going to add a little bit of our Hot sauce, another tablespoon of our Creole seasoning. And then we're just gonna mix that up for a little while. You know, be careful with those shrimp shells once you've peeled them. You know what happens when a basset hound eats a pound of shrimp shells? Nothing. They have intestines of iron. But you're probably not gonna know that the first time. You're probably gonna be very worried. Just don't leave your shrimp shells out. And once you've got that mixed up, Juice of half a lemon. We pulled it out of the oven. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Now we are gonna add our shrimp, our green onions, and our parsley. We're gonna mix that together. We're gonna put it back in the oven for five more minutes. All right, we've got it out of the oven. Let's take a look. Oh, that is beautiful. And this place smells amazing right now. And I guarantee it tastes just as good. So we're gonna add in our chicken, add our andouille sausage back, and we're gonna stir that in. All that good stuff is already in the pot. And remember to pick your bay leaves out. And we are pretty much ready to eat. I can't wait. We got our finished product here, and Man, if this tastes as good as it smells, it's gonna be amazing. Mm. That is wonderful. The shrimp is just right. That sausage gives it a great kick. And you know, it is pretty spicy, but it's mild enough for the wimps in your crowd. Don't worry about it. You're gonna please everybody. So thank you so much, Brian, for this recipe. It was wonderful. I think you should try it too. You can find the recipe on the website with this video. And keep those recipes coming. We're having a lot of fun here at Andy's Tailgate Test Kitchen. And I want you to tell me what to make next. Because remember, if a sports writer and an old basset hound can do it, you can too.